Hi everyone and welcome to this video. My name is John Jardine from Agility and today I'm going to show you how to set up your environment for React development. Now before we move forward, there uh, is a dependency in order to follow along with this video. You need to have Node.js and NPM running. Uh, if you don't, you can stop the video here and you can just go and reference one of the other very videos as part of this dev series which is on the left hand side here the Node.js and MVM that will give you everything that you need to follow along with this video um, I also recommend these optional tools uh, when it comes to React.js development so for example Postman is quite important because you will be working with a lot of web services and Postman will be your friend uh, in that regard uh, Git and Source Tree there will be a lot of source code uh, you should be using a lot of source code um, source control management and then finally VS Code a great code editor and it works wonders with um, with React.js especially with the plugins that I recommend as part of uh, this video so I've got videos for Mac OS and for Windows and uh, yeah, all you need to do is reference the Agility channel on YouTube but I'll also post links to the description of this video uh, as well as the blog entry so let's get started. So here I have High Sierra running as, uh, as my VM and I've opened up Safari. Uh, what we're going to be doing is two parts to this. The first is if you don't have Google Chrome, I highly recommend it when it comes to React development, especially with the React and Redux plugins that you can install for Chrome, which I'll be showing as part of this video. So uh, if you don't have Chrome, just go to google.com forward slash Chrome and that will take you to this page where you can go and download Chrome. Alright, so I've already done that on my side. I'm just going to go to the Downloads folder and there's Google Chrome over there. I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to drag the icon into the Applications folder. Once that is done, I will just uh, close this over here, go to the Applications folder, search for Chrome. Uh, where is it? Search for Google Chrome and let's double click to run this. So set Chrome as your default browser, blah, blah, blah. It's really up to you. I'm just going to deselect these for now. And I'm going to say start Google Chrome. And let's maximize this. Right, so what I want to do next is I want to install two very important plugins or extensions when it comes to React development. And uh, to do that, I'm just going to go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash apps. And I'm just going to click on Web Store and I'm going to search for React Developer Tools sorry for the flashing uh, something's not working 100% in my virtual machine so there's React Developer Tools we just click on Add to Chrome yes we add extension and once that's added we're going to do one more just do a search for Redux and there's Redux DevTools, we want to add this to Chrome as well. Right, so our Chrome browser is now ready for uh, React development, so the next thing that we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to close Chrome for now, otherwise this flashing is going to kill me. Right, I've so just closed Chrome and I'm going back to Safari and I'm going to close this browser window. The next uh, window we have over here is on GitHub. Uh, under Facebook we have a project called Create React App. This is a brilliant project created by Facebook and I highly recommend it when starting, out, uh, starting off with any new React application. I've even migrated some React applications from the traditional methods that I used to a create a React app uh, environment because uh, within this the, um, you've already got Webpack capabilities, uh, minimizing, bundling, um, hot reloading of the browser and various other important tools that you would have to manually sort of piece together when you're doing React development. So um, as a default we usually any new React project that we start in Agility we start with Create React App and then from there we'll decide how we move forward. Right so to run this we're going to open up Terminal and we're actually just going to, the easiest way to do this is just to set up a sample app so I am going to create a, I'm going to navigate to the documents source tree folder so I'm just going to say CD and I'm going to drag source tree over there so that we uh, there we go so now we're inside the source tree folder 
and what we want to do next is we want to um, say npm init create or re sorry react app so npm init react app and the name of the app so this will be like a sample react app Alright, so that's all we need to do in order to uh, kickstart our React app, our new React application. Oh, I, re I mis misspelled sample there, apologies for that. So this will take a moment to download, it, goes, it sets up all the dependencies, the modules, uh, sets up the project, everything that we need uh, happens during this time. So I'm just going to pause the video here and just wait for everything to finish and everything's done over here so all we knew and they even provide us with uh, suggestions on what to do next so we'll go into the folder that was uh, that the project's been created inside and we'll be running npm start and that will launch our project so let's just go cd uh, sample misspelt project folder and inside there I'm just gonna say npm start And that will open up, uh, it's opened up in Safari because we had Safari open and there is our boilerplate React application. And it is lightweight enough to actually start working with this boilerplate for whatever kind of application you want. You don't have to, rem you, you hardly have to remove anything uh, in order to get your own cu uh, custom application up and running. So I would highly recommend uh, doing this moving forward. Let's just copy this URL and let's open up Chrome and I just want to show you over here inside Chrome you'll notice once we load the application uh, you can see over here the icon became active and it shows that this page is using the development build of React so yes uh, this is why we are highly recommend uh, Chrome when it comes to uh, working with React and obviously uh, as a default there's no Redux uh, store for this boilerplate React application, so even if we go to Re Redux Dev Tools, there won't really be anything uh, to show. So that's it for this video. Until next time, cheers.